everyone, what's up? This is Marcos with Future Studio University. Welcome to another video on our Happy Series. Within previous videos, you have seen how to add routes to your server and handle traffic, the incoming requests, and how to serve static files. But you don't know at this point how to set a custom response code or the response status code for the responses. And this is what this video is all about. So. Before we get into the details, I want to tell you that you can find the tutorial with code snippets for easy copy and pasting on our website. It's the first thing in the description below. I've prepared a little sample project, importing the happy package, creating a server and listening on localhost. And the task that we want to accomplish is to add a custom response status code for individual routes. So you know that at first we need to add a, a route to the server and let's do it. All right, so by default, Happy handles the request and re re sends the response status code of 200. And yeah, well, let's check it out first and then we'll go into details. To check the, the response status code, let's use a tool called Postman. It's a very handy tool to test your APIs and send requests to your server. Uh, before we start, I need to start the Node.js server and we will use supervisor so that I don't have to restart the server when adding further routes. We don't have to care about it within the future. Okay, let's send uh, a request to localhost on port 3000. It's the root path that where the server is listening and you should see the message, hey buddy, got your request. Okay, and the status code is 200, which is totally fine because <clears throat> it's a default status code for Happy. Everything works like expected. So how can you actually inject the, the response status code? Let's create another route so we don't interfere with this one. And let's just use it at the path code. And okay, well, I'm going to return an object and let's say that was it was a new object that contained the ID and a name and containing a, having an object in the response indicates that you want to return the status code 201. And as you can see, just chaining the code method on the reply does the job. So using the code method and passing the desired response status code as a parameter does the job. Okay, let's check it out. Okay, we have said the route is available at slash code and let's send it. Okay, you can see the status code is 201, like created, and we got our data object. Okay, I've told you that the default response status code is of 200. So let's say you, you want to intercept the default response status codes for empty responses, because it will, would be the same. Like having just a reply indicating the server got the request, everything was processed successfully, and now there's nothing to return, so just an empty reply. You can intercept the, the response status. Okay, I will just show you that, that, that it's 200 empty response. And empty response. Okay, we didn't get anything in return within the re response payload, but we got the status code 200, okay. So now what you want uh, maybe is the status code of 204, indicating that there is no content in the payload. And <clears throat> you can do that by passing a custom config object to the route handler. So we are just moving the route handler to the config object and using a custom configuration for the response, which is the empty, uh, empty status code, there you go. And we want the 204 and all right. Okay, let's check it again. 
And as you see, it's 204. So if you want to match the RFC and you don't send any payload, just think about it. Maybe it's a property for you to set the 204 instead of the 200, okay? All right, there's another trick when using error responses. So there's a library called Boom, which is from the Happy Ecosystem, which is a plugin, and you can well, it's not not kind of a plugin, but it's a it's a utility that you can use to have proper error responses. And let's simply install it to, and use it in, within this sample. We can npm e the boom package and start up our server again. All right. <clears throat> okay, let's just add another route for the error. Okay, I will remove the empty status code. We don't need it at this point. And import boom. All right, there you go. So we have an error response and boom provides kind of sugar methods to use the, the appropriate status codes. And what we want to indicate is a, um, a bad request, like your data is invalid. So what you want to expect from the Boom package is that it sets the response status of 400 and returns the, mes the message of your data is invalid. Okay, let's see what it does. Okay, the route path is error. And there you go. You see, the response status is 400 bad requests. And additionally, you get the error payload with a separate status code. And within the JSON payload, you get the actual error, which is a bad request. And you get the message where you can, where you can put specific data, like your, your email address is not registered or whatever you want to you want to tell the user. So you can really can be precise and you can provide very detailed error messages for the processing. All right, that's it for setting the response status code. You have a good idea to, to get a grasp on, on status code and use them correctly and to provide very good information to your, to your client side developers, to the front end or to your to mobile applications. So follow this idea, use status codes, the HTTP status codes are fine. Let's shortly review what you've learned. <coughs> the first route showed you that the default response status code is 200 and you can set a specific custom status code using the code method on the reply interface. The reply interface just returns the response object and you can chain the, the code method Without, without having a, a specific object or getting a separate object. So you can also intercept the empty response status code and, and sending the 200 or 204 instead of the 200 using the config object on a route handler or on the route object in the configuration. And you can use the boom object to easily send error messages and provide specific data and the boom. And Happy has very great first class boom integration to um, pick up the error, use the status code and send a detailed message and, um, and an error object to the client. Well, we hope you learned a lot throughout this video and you like, the, you like the idea of using status codes and you pick up the idea and use it within your projects. If you like the video and learned something new, give it a thumbs up. You can follow this channel for more videos on Happy and Node.js in general, also on Android. Have a great day. Enjoy coding and make it rock.